In the last two tutorials, we looked at how to create numeric and operator macros. In this tutorial, we look at the third type, generator macros, which allow you to create completely new generators by combining existing nodes. For example, this style creates track lighting. It automatically positions the track below the height of the brackets and under that the lights. There are controls for the spacing between the brackets and the lights, which can also be randomly rotated. If you often create track lighting, probably you'll need several different styles. Instead of creating this graph every time, wouldn't it be better to have this as a single generator, one which has this specific function to create track lighting? In RailClone 3, you can do this with macros. To convert this graph to a generator macro, just create a new macro node. Right click on it and select Macro Edit. A new tab will open containing the macro subgraph. Return to the main view and copy the existing graph. Go back to the Macro tab and paste the graph into the macro. You'll get a warning that macros cannot contain segments or base objects. This is logical because in a macro these should be added as inputs so that you can connect any geometry. So to add these new sockets, just drag input nodes from the macro section at the top of the items list. You change the type of input from the type dropdown here, for example, I'm adding a spline input that will wire to all three generators. Next, I'll need to add sockets for all the segments. Once again, you use the input node, but there's no need to change the type in this case because segment is the default setting. Just create one for each segment you had in the original graph. If you switch back and check the macro node, you'll see that all the sockets are called segment, which isn't very helpful. So make sure you return to the subgraph and give them more descriptive names. These will be displayed next to the sockets on the macro become. If you select the macro, you'll see the existing numeric nodes have automatically become parameters and the current settings have been converted to the defaults. If you want to change the defaults, just go back to the macro graph, select a numeric node and enter a new value in the default field. Now that you have your macro created, you don't need the original graph. This macro can now be saved and used to create track lighting anytime simply by attaching a spline in the relevant segments. All the parameters can even be easily adjusted directly from the properties panel.